Hello, this is the Details Flower software and today this video is going to go over best practices when it comes to creating recipes. Currently we're on the worksheet section for the client Sarah Smith. On my design board, the best place to upload pictures that the customer has sent to you is by clicking Add Recipe. Once you load this image into the software, it is now going to be called a recipe. You'll notice in the top right hand corner by clicking the eyeball that this recipe has no ingredients yet. What we can do is drag and drop this recipe over to the worksheet section. It populates a zero price because we have zero ingredients. From here we can either drag and drop the ingredients anywhere into the blue box or select add ingredient which gives us the options from the design board over on the left and in here now we can select multiple items at once. You can adjust your stem counts and once you have this recipe set the way you like you can choose in your arrow up and down recipe options to update the gallery recipe. That will take all of these ingredients and attach it to the blank recipe over on the design board. That is really beneficial because now, if our groomsmen are a very similar recipe, we can simply drag and drop it over to the worksheet, make any adjustments, maybe she did not want snowberries in this one, and she preferred to add Dusty Miller. If you would like to save this new version of the recipe, you can choose in your recipe options in the top right hand corner to save it as a new gallery recipe. That keeps the original and creates a brand new version. If you choose to update the gallery recipe, that will override the original recipe we pulled over. If you update from gallery, that will bring it back to the original version. If you click view recipe, it simply opens the recipe from the board so you can view it. I would suggest if you're saving both versions to update the recipe name and maybe adjust the image by clicking on it to a better representation of the changes. From here, another option could be to simply drag and drop the ingredients one by one. For example, Maybe the fathers are starting out with this bloom, so on and so forth with the blooms we prefer to add. We can choose to update this image at a later time if we have a better picture after the event is completed. If you click recipe options now, you'll notice you only have two options. The first is to save it new to the gallery, the second is to favorite the recipe. You no longer get the option to update from gallery recipe because there's no image over on the design board under recipes that correlates to this item. In the case that you had loaded in a template on details and there was a recipe already here that you wanted to pin to the board, you can choose in your recipe options to favorite that recipe. If you had a pre-existing recipe already created, you can choose to drag and drop that recipe over to the worksheet and make any adjustments, adding more blooms, deleting any specific flower out, maybe they want to add some blue. If you would like to save this new version without overriding the original, that is where you will choose in your recipe options to save it new to your gallery.
Another option from the worksheet is if you do not have an inspiration picture or recipe, maybe you do not know what blooms you're going to use either, but you do know that you need to create a recipe at some point in time, you can click the plus sign, select add blank recipe, it will open up your recipe area. From here, you can put any notes or descriptions about what they're wearing or things that you're looking to design. Maybe you simply set a budget at this point to design at a later date. Across the top of the screen, underneath our resources, you will find a recipe gallery. This will be another location where you can create recipes or find the, res or find the recipes that we had saved from the worksheet section. The next location that you will be able to create a recipe is from the resource section at the top under the recipe gallery. In here, you will find the recipes that we just saved from the worksheet section. Also, in the top right hand corner, by clicking new recipe, you could create one right from here by uploading your image, filling out the name or description accordingly, clicking add ingredient to select the items that you would like to load in, placing your quantity accordingly. On the right-hand side, you will notice some options to choose a category that that would live in, any styles you would like it to show up, and then you can save it accordingly in the top right-hand corner. If you see a recipe that you can use from your resource section and would like to pull it over to your design board, you simply click the star in the top right hand corner. From there, heading back to your worksheet, you can drag and drop it over and customize it any way you see fit. I hope this video has helped. Keep in mind in our top left hand corner, you can always find more tutorial videos underneath the support tab by clicking tutorials. Thanks so much. We hope you have a great day.